Yo, what is going on guys, Zeke Karma here, and welcome back to another boring math video here in Borderlands 3. Today we are going to be talking about reload speed, and most importantly, how to calculate increases to reload speed. This is a topic that might be a little confusing to some people because of some common misconceptions. Some people think that if you have a reload speed of 3 seconds and you get 50% faster reload speed, then all you do is multiply 3 by 0.5 and shave off the 1.5 seconds, leaving you with a 1.5 second reload speed. But obviously this is not the case, because if you followed this same concept, imagine if your increase in reload speed was 100%, then you would end up with a reload speed of 0 seconds, which is impossible. So essentially with this method, you are actually shaving off time and what we're actually trying to do is increasing speed, which are not exactly the same thing. Even though both do reduce the time, they don't reduce it at the same rate. So let me give you an example. If you have a weapon that has a reload speed of 10 seconds, that means that the speed of the reload is 10 seconds per reload. And let's say that we increase the reload speed by 100%. Well, to calculate the percentage increases for speed, we would follow this formula. So it's new time is equal to old time divided by 1 plus x, where x represents the percentage increase. So it would be the old time, which is 10 divided by 1 plus x, which is 1 for 100%, which gives us a new time of 5 seconds. So 100% increase in speed would essentially make it twice as fast. So here's a graph of that formula. As you can see, the line starts at 10 seconds because the reload speed for said weapon is 10 seconds. And it's at x equals 0, meaning that there are no percentage increases. But as we move further to the right, where x is increasing, you start seeing the reload speed represented by y decrease. So just so you understand, at x equals 5, it means there's a 500% increase in reload speed, and at x equals 60, it is a 6,000% increase. So as you can see, the speed increase formula never really touches the x-axis, and that is because it is not possible to reach a reload speed of 0 seconds. You can get as close as possible, but never truly reload in 0 seconds. Even with a 1 million percent increase in reload speed, you still wouldn't be able to reload in 0 seconds. Sure, you might get extremely close to 0, but you will never ever get there. And for those math geeks out there, if you want to check this by yourself, you just set up the formula equal to 0, and when you try to solve, you get 10 equals 0, which is a false statement, so reload speed can never be 0. Plug in any other number you want instead of 0, and you'll get a result for x. So anyways, real quick, let me show you an in-game example so we can just end the video there. Let's say that this is our setup. As you can see, this launcher has a reload speed of 3.8 seconds. On the weapon card, it says that it has a plus 15% reload speed, which we do have to ignore because this increase has already been applied and does not need to be additive with anything else. Then we have this class mod that gives us 20% reload speed, a skill that gives us 19% reload speed, and another skill that gives us 2% reload speed per rush stack. And let's say we have 20 rush stacks, so we have a 40% reload speed on that skill. Well, all these are additive, giving us a 79% faster reload speed. So we take our 3.8 seconds divided by 1.79, giving us 2.12 seconds. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there as I don't want to make it too long. Hope you enjoyed and please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Borderlands 3 content. Have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.